Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. This is Believer's Night. Yes. So I guess we have a few believers here. Hallelujah. We came to get our swords sharpened. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. We want to welcome those that are watching by Ustream and by TV. And on behalf of Bishop Michael Babin, his wife, Prophetess Cookie, and Genesis, the King's Church family, we welcome you. And once again, we're excited to see what God has for us tonight. Because he said that if we would seek him, that we would find him. And that if we would knock, he would open the door. And each one of us came tonight because we need God. Each one of us came tonight because we need God to yes. move for us. That's right. That's Each right. one of us came tonight because we love the Lord. Yes. And we've given Him our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, we just praise You tonight, Lord. We just thank You for Your goodness, that You are a good Father. We thank You for Your mercy, that even when we didn't deserve your mercy you showed us your mercy we thank you for your unfailing unconditional agape love yes. that you have for each and every one of us and that you have for your church in the earth in the earth all that call on your name jesus you love your people and you have called us by our names for such a time as this. We thank you tonight. We thank you for your word tonight. That man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So we live off of his word. Yeah. We walk according to his word. Right, yes. We speak his word. We thank him for the word tonight. Yes. We thank him for the promises tonight. Yes. We thank him for the mighty Holy Spirit. Yes. That he didn't leave us as orphans. But he gave us the mighty, holy yeah. spirit. Yeah. 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 Who teaches us. Who leads us. Yes. Who guides us yes. into all truth. The Holy Spirit. Yes. We welcome you tonight. We yield to you tonight. We say, not my will. Not my will. Not my will. But your will be done. That you purify the hearts of your people, Lord. That you purify our hearts. That you take out the stones. And that you put in the flesh. For you said the pure in heart shall see God. The pure. The pure. The pure in heart shall see God. We ask tonight that you would forgive us of our sins, Lord. You forgive us for conversations. You forgive us for wrong thinking. You forgive us for our sins tonight, Lord. That you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That you wash us, wash us, wash us in the blood of Jesus. For there is a price that was paid for our freedom. Yes. Blood was shed. Yes. For our freedom. Yes. We don't take it lightly Lord. 
And you willingly, like a lamb, going to the slaughter, gave your life, laid it down, took the beating, took the thorns that were put on your head. <coughs> we thank you for that by his stripes yes. we are healed. Yes. salvation. You are our deliverer. You are our healer. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but through his Son Jesus. So we came tonight to worship him. We lift up holy hands to a holy God. And we worship him tonight. We worship our King in spirit. We worship Him in truth. We thank You, Father God. We thank You, Father God, that we are the lion from the tribe of Judah. And that Judah will plow. Judah will plow. Judah will plow. Judah will plow. She will plow the way. We thank You, Lord. Hallelujah. Can you clap your hands like this? Let's praise the Lord tonight. Let's lift him up. He's worthy. Come on, team, let's sing right here. i 
worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah. Glory to God.
Test. Go to Luke yes. chapter nine and see if you're gonna what you're gonna do. Right. Well, I guess the rest of you. Amen. Yes. We know what you Hallelujah. Be doing. Right. You be going with the comfort of your flesh because you can't even say amen. 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 We think that the, that the Lord needs a whole lot of people to get something done. And, we, and those people that think that, they don't read the Bible. Because I find in my Bible that the Lord picks one person. And then he drops the grace on that one person and it says, this is the message. And then there's people that hear the message and that they'll be blessed. Right. A miracle will come on them and then this week we had two people that had got eviction notices on two people in the church and both of their eviction notices were wiped away and the Lord delivered on the day right Amen. each one Amen. That's good. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. I had a word of knowledge for the one. I said, go try this. Right. They went and did it, and there was the money. Amen. Almost $2,000. And see, we, man, we just don't, we don't, we don't get it. It's not about how much it is or how much you owe or it's about believing God and, yes. take, and taking it to God. Right. Yes. And then having faith that He's going to do something. Yes. 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 He will. Yes, yes. He will. Yes, He will. Now, I, I want to mark those that are marked down in their Bibles. I want to mark down 1 Timothy 4. I want 2 Timothy 4. I want John 15. And if I can make it, Joshua chapter 1. These are all uh, 
things that you have to have the scriptures, the word you have to have in your toolbox, That's right. yeah. in your helmet, in your mind, yes. and and speaking out of your mouth. Amen. Right. If you don't speak out of your mouth, you will. You actually you're already captured. Right. You already captured. Right. The world has already captured you. Where whatever, whichever uh, trick that the devil has in his bag. Which is fear, compromise, all kind of uh, things of the of the you know that goes along with the flesh. But look here in Luke, in Luke chapter nine because it's uh, it shows you how Jesus called his disciples. And when the, when Jesus gives you the call. It never goes along with what you're doing. That's what we think. Well, the Lord knows that I'm doing this. Right. And so he'll just, no. We'll find that out in the Bible. You'll have to drop off what you're doing, which what he's telling you to do is going to save your life. Right. And save the seed, which is the seed is your is your your inheritance or your family. Yes. Right. That that some of you don't even have yet. Some of you even have your family yet. Right. But if you'll listen, you will get it, and then you'll better keep it. Right. Right. And then another one of the promises you see in the in the in, with the children of Israel, yes. the Lord was 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 delivering them and told them that He would take them from the land of bondage in in Exodus three. We're not going there, but then and then He would deliver them. And he, and he told them he had a promised land for them. Right. Yeah. And then their promised land was the land of, of Canaan. Right. right. But our promised land is not the land of Canaan. Our promised land is the promised land called Oceanside. Oh, right. Yeah. Amen. Now, Amen. Now, that's the center of where the, where the, the move of God has yeah. already begun. Yeah. Right. And then the promise... Because the vision is big. Yeah. This vision is very big. Yes. Yes. May not look like it, but that's the way it starts. The kingdom of God starts with the seed. Yes. Right. And the smallest seed in all in, in the kingdom uh, or in the, uh, the seed kingdom is the mustard seed. That's right. right. And the Lord uh, relates the kingdom of God to the mustard seed. Right. Yes. So it's the smallest and it becomes the biggest. Amen. Right. Right. Yeah. Now the vision is for me is in the West Coast is from Mexico to Canada. Yes. Yeah. Right. Amen. But the focal yeah. point is, is Oceanside. Right. Yes. Now of course we have those that are flesh minded. Right. And so you want to live in Carlsbad or you want to live in, you know, Vista or you want to live in Temecula. Or you want to live in La Costa. Or you want to live in... It, all those places are fine. But don't get it, don't get it messed up. Right. The, the place where the blessing is is Oceanside. Right. Because, it's not because I said it, it's because God said it. Amen. Now those that believe that will be blessed beyond measure. Right. Amen. That doesn't mean that you can't be blessed somewhere else. If you're connected to this ministry, you're connected right. to this right. to this ministry, I said it right, and then to the church. Yes. Then you can live in any part of the county. Right. 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 There we go. And be blessed. No, that no, no, we don't go. He says he want to say there we go because he's trying to get his deal in. No. Carlsbad is not going to change. Right. White on white on white on white. <laughs> Not gonna change. That's why God didn't say Carl's bad. Don't get mad with me. Carl's bad is old money. Right. Oceanside is new money. Anyway, that's not my focal point. I just just need to say that. I lived in in, in a few places since I, in my 41 years of, of being here. In uh, North County, right. most of it is is Oceanside, between Oceanside and Bonzo, and then Fallbrook was in there, and they had a little spout 
in uh, Carlsbad, where I lived in La, La Costa. And I was immediately attacked, just a side issue that he wants to get it. Uh, Im immediately, immediately attacked in La Costa in a, I don't know, million and a half uh, house that I lived in. And because I was, I was told that I had a car lot. <laughs> but the truth of the matter was, it had nothing to do with the car lot. Right. It was because of the color of my skin. That's right. That's right. But people don't understand those things. Right. But anyway, so Luke chapter 9, right. in verse, I'm reading out of the New American, no, I have New American standard here, but I have the NIV. New International Version in verse um, 40, 49, I believe. And the, 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 the team did such a magnificent job. It's a magnificent job. My, my spirit was just uplifted in, uh, in, the, in the heavens. And, uh, my eyes are still kind of uh, trying to get them wiped up because I was crying so I could see. But um, verse uh, 49, it's not looking right. You see, they, they were in verse uh, 40. I see, I normally have my Bible marked. Maybe it's not right. Or some little numbers, that's what it is. This one got these little numbers. You can't see them. So, I want for yeah, I do want verse 49. Or starting verse, yeah, 49. I'm about to read in the uh, New American Standard because this one here is hard for me to see. Verse 49, I'm reading the New American Standard. Maybe I'll go back to the NIV. Uh, this is my leisure Bible that I read at home, and I was studying out of that, so I brought it, and then I'm back in my what I normally preach out of. Amen. I said in verse 49, now this, what's going to happen here is Jesus is going to show us how he calls people. It says, while he was still speaking, it says, someone came from the house of the synagogue officials saying, your lesson, this is not right. I'm in Luke, and I wonder. I'm in Luke 8, and I wonder. Okay. I said Luke 9, right? Right. Yeah. 949. Yeah, so that's what's wrong. I kept trying to read it and it didn't, wasn't reading right because I was in the wrong spot. Okay, let's see. In verse 40, uh, it was 57. Yeah. It's 57. Amen. And look, what's the 49? my notes. My notes say 59. But I'm going to start in 40, uh, 57. So, uh, sorry for the the uh, bouncing back and forth. Got to get it together here. So we're in Luke chapter 9, verse 57. It says, And as they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's pretty bold. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. Then Jesus says, I mean, that's very profound for someone to say that. Normally Jesus has said, follow me. Right. But right. So he, he, he was doing that already. Right. That's the only way that guy could come and say that. Right. I'll follow you where, wherever you go. Then Jesus makes a prophetic statement. And I, this always happens to me. 
I'm making prophetic statements, which means I'm speaking prophetically. And when the people that I'm talking to are taking it natural. Then when I'm speaking in natural, they try to take it prophetically or spiritually. And they can never get it right. And they try to read me by my face, and that ain't going to work. But verse 58, Jesus said, Jesus said to him, the foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. So the man says plainly, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus makes a prophetic statement. Does that sound like that Jesus answered that man? But he did. Right. He answered him prophetically. He said, you see what he said there? He, he, he said the natural. He said the foxes have holes. Then you have to understand that he did call Herod a fox. Right? And that's the, the, the most um, vulgar word that you could say in his day, in Jesus' day, for homosexual. He said, you go tell that fox. That was, that was, now he's not saying that here, but then he says foxes have holes. I just put that in there because you, you, many of you don't know that. When he told Herod, called him a fox. Go tell that faggot, homosexual, whatever you want to call it. But he said fox. And we'll think, oh, that's not too bad. That's because you, don't, you weren't in the Roman days. You don't know the language of the Romans. And, and that would not, was not good. That's the roughest that Jesus could, that anybody could say about a homosexual back in that day. That's right. But Jesus, then he says, and birds have nests. So he's talking about, he, so he's talking about creation. Right, Bishop. Animal kingdom. But he says the son of man, now the son of man is him. Right. right. The son of God and the son of man is Jesus. Right. But when he says son of man, son of man means he's identifying with mankind. Right. Son of God is he's coming from the Godhead. Right. But he's both. But he's called, he's called the Son of Man more times than the Son of God in the Scriptures. Because he came to identify with man. And to win back everything that man had, had uh, Adam actually, Adam had given over to uh, Satan. Jesus came back to win everything back. Amen. That's the right. earth and, and everything in it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Then he says, he says, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Boy. Now, if you understand prophetically and about the, the, the government of God, Jesus, or, or, or God, which is Jesus, Boy. dealt with he prophesied in Genesis 3.15 that from the seed of the woman, God would bring the one that would crush the head of the serpent. Or the government of the serpent. You got, you really, you got to take it further. It's not just crushing Satan's head, but it's yes, crushing his head. But also cr crushing his headship, Amen. his government, right. Right. his kingdom. Right. Yeah. So Jesus is saying, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. So right. his government is not set up. So he don't have nowhere to lay his head. You understand? Yes. Are you getting it? Yes. Right. Yes. So that's why he came to set up his kingdom. Yes. Right. But he's telling this guy, I have nowhere to lay my head. How are you going to follow me? Right. 
Then in verse 59, now we don't know what happened to that guy. But in verse 59, and he said to another. So to a different person, a different man. He says to him, follow me. But this man said, per permit me first to go and bury my father. So you can see that there was something in the man to, to be following Jesus and, right. and wanting to hear his words. Yeah. But he had, he had compromised in him because when Jesus said, follow me, the man said, I got to go do something first. Right. We always have those people yeah. outside in the world right. and we also have those people in the church. Right. Right. Yeah. And they'll be very difficult to, to hook them in the world and bring them because they have other things to do, and, and those other things will get them hell. Right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. When you hear God speak and call, you, you have to respond. Yes. 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 All of you did, or you wouldn't be here now. Right. Right. Those that are watching by television, also by Ustream, yes. there's something in you that in, in spite of the uh, the vices in the world and the uh, the pull from darkness. Right. There's something in you that wants to seek the Lord. Yes, right. 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 Which is, of course is the spirit, right. your human spirit. Right. But this man said, "Permit me to go and bear my father." Mm -hmm. So you people say, and I'm not saying anybody particular. I'm just saying. The people, let's put like the people say, when you hear that, the preachers should say, Amen. Let them go. But God does not say, Amen. All right. All right. That's right. But you, good, because the Christian always, he has a good heart. That person will go to hell. Right. <laughs> but we always have that. It's a good heart. Right. So it takes more than a good heart. That's right. It's to receive, but anyway, let's go on, because I, I don't want to preach so much, I want to teach. Amen. But in verse 60, so now, but Jesus said to him, so Jesus is going to speak to this guy now. Right. <laughs> Allow the dead to bury their own dead. Right. What? Right. Jesus is a mean man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to follow that Jesus. Do you hear what he just said? Right. Let the dead bury their own dead. Right. He's saying there's nothing more important than serving God. Right. Not even somebody dying. Right. In your family or somebody else's family. Or someone getting married. Or someone getting a job. Or someone's getting overtime so they can't come to church. The Lord don't understand none of that because you got to see it right here. If you don't understand it here, he ain't going to understand it out there. But they always want me to compromise. And my leaders to compromise. And God does not, so I will not, right. and my leaders will not. Right. This is one thing that I tell you, you go to my wife and she'll clean you right up. Right. <laughs> she will tell you. That's for sure. Cookie will tell you. You need to be in church. And when she gets through with you, you won't want to hear no more. Because she'll be telling you about her mother and her grandfather and all the other people. And by the time she gets done with you, you'll be saying, okay, oh, just make her stop. Okay, I'm going to go to church. Yeah. That's right. right. Amen. That's why I say she's the pastor of the church. Yeah. Amen. He goes on to say, so he said, allow the dead to bury their own dead, but as for you, Go and proclaim everywhere yes. the yes. kingdom of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Notice, 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 notice how many people can't. 
about 90% of you are, are become mute. You can't even talk. That means it's somewhere that the enemy has you locked in already. It's, it's proclaim the kingdom of God, which means, see, you got to know scripture because this was what John the Baptist said. John the Baptist said, the kingdom of God is here. And then John the Baptist said, there he is. This is the one that the prophets have prophesied for thousands of years. There he is. The Christ. The Lamb of God that take away the sins of the world. There he is. That's what John said. There he is. Jesus comes and gets baptized. After he comes out of the water filled with the Holy Spirit, goes to a wedding, fixes them up, right. works his first miracles right. at the wedding, and then he preaches. <coughs> and he says the kingdom of God is here. Amen. John the Baptist said the kingdom of God is here. Jesus said the kingdom of God is here. Amen. Yes. Amen. The greatest preacher Right. Ever to preach said the kingdom of God is here. Yes. Yes. Amen. Then he picked 12 men, and when they began to preach, if you go read your Bible, right. they preached the same thing. Right. 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 The reason why you guys can't say you're right, right or say right. amen because you so listen to so many squirrels. Right. 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 There's a squirrel over here and a squirrel over there, a double squirrel over here, an ish over there. You got all these different people saying all these different things. Right. God is only saying one thing. The kingdom of God is here. Amen. Then he said, and further on, he said that the that the kingdom of God is is has been forcefully yes. advancing yes. from the days of John yes. until now. Yes. Amen. And he said there was not one greater than John. Yes. But he said, but he that is the least yes. in the kingdom yes. is greater than John. Yes. So there's something about kingdom living that puts you over the top. See, that's what, that's what I'm talking about and have been talking about for a long time. Yeah. It's about kingdom living. Yes. 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 For the kingdom to come here right. within you. The kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy yes. in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Amen. You see, you're sitting here, been with me, for some of you not so long, so you don't know that. But some of you have been there a long time. Right. And you still can't say amen. Do you know why? Because you're not preaching the kingdom yourself. Right. And if you listen, you have to live the you have to be living the kingdom right. before you preach it. Yeah. That's why you don't preach it because you don't live it. You gotta live it. Right. And these are simple steps, they're not no some big old thing. They're simple. Right. I'm, I, I'm teaching them all the time, and the miracles are just dropping. If you right. listen That's and you right. follow, yes. they just happen. Yes. Right. I just told you about two magnificent right. miracles right. Yes. in the church this week. Yes. Yes. And look, you can't even, you're so religious, right. you, you can't, even, can't even give God praise. Yes. But listen, but it was, if it was you being evicted, yes. right. and if it was your three, a three day notice on your door, right. I bet you will be trying to say something. Right. Help! Right. Help! Right. Help! Right. Right. But since it's not you, you sit nicely right. on your nice soft chair on your butt. Right. No, three day notice ain't no joke. Right. And you don't get three day notice if you got money. Right. Right. But the God will deliver you. Yes. I mean, don't get stuck on that. He will deliver you. He just delivered two people in here. Yes. What happens? You don't know what to do, and so you do the wrong thing. Right. That's 
Right. Instead of coming to the altar, right. bringing it to God, right. and coming to a leader. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. And we'll, we'll point you in the right direction. Amen. 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 That's why. You know, you have to understand that there's, there's billions of dollars out there. Right. But if you listen to CNN, right. Right. Then, right. then you don't believe there's any, anything. Right. Right. The news is not going to give you anything good. No. Right. Nothing good is coming down out of the news. Other than a dog got saved that was getting ready to drown in Lake Michigan. Right. And they put that over all of the news all over the country. That the dog was drowning in Lake Michigan and we say and we even have the video where we say Pookie. But that ain't gonna help nobody unless you a dog drowning in, in, in Lake Michigan. And if you was, guess what? You'll be dead. Right. And that's the truth. You better wake up. This world is so twisted. So twisted. So lost. That they want to put me in jail because I'm saying what I just said about Pookie. Because they say that an animal has the same rights as us. You haven't read your Bible. You're stupid. The Bible has the same rights as us. <laughs> but 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 the man didn't even realize they have themselves on the dog level. Right. Right. That we're in the animal kingdom. We're not in the animal kingdom. We never read your Bible. Right. It tells you right there in, in, in Genesis chapter one that God creates you in his image right. and in his likeness. Yeah. Yeah. And he gave you dominion. Yeah. Not the dog dominion over you. Right. Well, I see people walk walking their dog. The dog is in control of them. Right. Right. It happened right out here in the front of the Star Theater right. a few weeks ago. Right. A woman was walking with Pookie, right. and she said, "We going with no, no Pookie. We we she's pulling the the, the the cord on the dog. No, we we going this way." And the dog said, "No." Right. I'm not going that way. I, the dog pulled this way. And she was like, okay, okay. Wow. And she went the wrong way. Right there in front of the Star Theater. You guys jump right over your head. Taking our rights. Taking our rights. Twisting the rights. But all that's coming to it, uh, it's already coming to an end. Yeah. Already coming to the end. Hallelujah. It's going to be all cleaned up in the fire. Right. It's not a it's not a natural fire. That's what people the people they had, you know preached for so many years that that the Lord said he's not he's not going to clean us up with water at this time. The next time it's going to be fire. So he's talking about fire, the Holy Spirit. But of course the religious natural fire, like a forest fire. Matter of fact. I think we're close to it. Man, this is dangerous now. I think we're close to it. This is dangerous. We talked about the, let me see, where is it at? Talks about I've come to bring the fire. I thought we were right on it, let's see. Maybe it's Matthew. Let me just venture out. You got to take a chance. See, faith, if, if you won't take a chance, you'll never know what God will do for you. If you always have to have it figured out, some of you like that. You have to have it figured out in your, in your chrome dome or you're not going to do nothing. You're not going to do very much for God. Because faith, I'm trying to find it where it says I come to bring fire. This is not 311. This is, huh? I'm sorry, No, I'm just saying it's not in Matthew, it's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, I mean, it could be in Matthew, but it's not that, that far down. I mean, it's far, uh, farther up. It's in, it's in verse 40, 49 and 49. 
but I don't know the, the, the book or the chapter right now. I can't think of it anyway. Somebody needs to find John's not here. John, look at it on the U stream and, and in Texas to somebody <laughs> here. I, I always knew that scripture. Uh, I'm thinking it's Luke, though. Luke 12, 49. Yeah, I knew he was close. Thank you. I knew he was close. Was it 49? I see I called it. The verse had my verse right, but I, didn't know I said, but I thought it was Luke. So it's Luke 12, just yeah. for you to see. Right. Amen. Luke 12, yeah. verse 49 and 50. He says, I have come, this is Jesus speaking. Yeah. I have come to cast fire upon the earth. Right. And how I wish it were already kindled. Right. <laughs> so you see, they think it's natural. Some of you think, yeah, that's not, no. <laughs> he says, but I have a baptism to undergo. See that? Verse 50. Right. And how distressed I am until it's accomplished. Wow. He's talking about the baptism that he has to, he has to suffer. Right. And win us back with his blood. Mm. Wow. Then that will bring the paracletos. It will bring... What had happened in the upper room when he told them to wait? He told his disciples, wait for me in the upper room. It says, until you do with power from on high. Right. And when the power came, it said they had tongues of fire. Right, right, right. Is that the same fire? I said, is that the same fire? Yes. It is. Yes. It's the same fire. So the fire is the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is already lit. Right. Already lit here, lit here in North County, and it's already lit right. up north. Yes. Yes. And now we're waiting on the the prophet to shake off yes. his yes. grave clothes, yes. Yes. and you'll see. Yes. And he will come down. He'll come back. He'll come here. Yes. But anyway, now let's go back to uh, Luke chapter nine. I appreciate that, Justin. You pulled that's the second time you did that. You did that in the men's meeting too. Yeah. But you still gotta have your Bible. Yes. You pulled that out with the Bible? No, you pull it out your phone. Right. Okay. Right. See, he got it now. See, we used to be like the rest of them. Like Tyrell, you got your Bible? It's very, let me see, it's kind of small. <laughs> oh, look at it. He's afraid to raise it up, it's so small. <laughs> And I caught Tyrell texting doing praise and worship. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what the kids do. You're talking to them and they, you, you, you think that, that I could do that with my dad? Oh. Oh. People get mad with me because of what I like, what I just did. But that's the way I was raised. Right. Do you think that when my father would be talking to me and I would be not paying attention? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whether I had some gizmo right. or I had uh, my side the side of my head <laughs> my, my my head would have been turned like this. Right. 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 Yeah. The right. shot right. that I would have took from him. Right. Right. <laughs> and the beating would have commit be right. it would have been would have begun. Right. Wouldn't have been just one shot. Right. That's why I can't understand the, the kids. Right. Right. I can't stand it. Right. My children will tell you, boy or girl, I said, well, I'm talking to you, look at me. Right. Right. I make them look. Yeah. Right. Back in the, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same as school. Right. It was no different, that's why we got a problem. Right. There's no training at home, Come on. and there's no training in the school. Because right. they're afraid at the school, and now the, the government's got us afraid. Right. I'm not afraid, no. but they have, they have you afraid. You can't right. even right. discipline your children. Right. 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 Matter of fact, the government is so stupid that they tell you that your children are theirs. Yes. Yes. That's, right. Yes. That's right. And the truth of the matter is, is they are. Right. When you give up the social security, right. and when you give up, I'm talking about when you sign them up. 
Birth certificate and the surfaces, you, you, you turn them over to, anyway, don't let me, don't get me started. You turn them over to the, to the government. But I didn't know that. Now I know it and they steal. My children are still my dad's. You can ask my, you can ask my dad's question, he'll be 40, 40 years old. So right. Justin used to always make fun when Clifton got a spanking. Right. He, can, he can, I can bring him up and right, you laugh so hard. <laughs> and then, then Gabriel, he can tell you the same, but then my daughter, he, she can tell you the same, who's in law school. Yeah. 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 They got to pay attention That's right. when I'm talking. That's right. So I, I, you know, I've been in this uh, married cookie 40 years. Amen. So you, you can't expect me, and don't expect me, if you think that I'm going to, uh, submit to, to to things that are not scriptural. Right. 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 It don't matter what the consequence is. I'm right. not. Right. Submit. Right. Right. I didn't come back from from the dead right. to submit to, to foolishness. Right. I'm submitted to the King of Kings and the Lord. And I have I have the government of God. I'm, I'm submitted to authority. Amen. Archbishop George Curry is my is my pastor. Yes, yeah. that's right. And then I have others yeah. right. that I submit to. Right. Kirby Clements has always yes. been a pastor of me. I never, I would never say that that man is not. Right. Yes. Yes. And and there's a uh, well, I was going to say Mel Bailey, but he he died. Right. Mm -hmm. And then of course my my dear uh, uh, friend the prophet we we're, we're, we're brothers. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. We've been in the fight for a long time, Amen. and I'm re-gearing up yes. for another thirty yes. plus years. Yes. And, the, and and you young people that want to hear and want to be taught, it it makes me, you know, gird my loins yes. and put on my armor. Amen. Yes. And, uh, and and say I'm ready to do another thirty plus. Right. Yes. To get yeah. the job done for the army that God is raising up right here, yeah. and you part of the yeah. army, you young yeah. people, and some of the old, the, the super saints yes. that are still right. with us. Right, amen. Because it's not like we just want young; we want them all. Right. right. But they got you. Got to be able to put your boots on. Yeah. Right. I say you got to be ready. You got to put your boots on. Right. And ready to march and ready to fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not talking about fight with the cars and the fight with the wretch. I'm talking about, and I'm not talking about fist fight or stab. I'm talking about the fight with the weapons of God, yeah. which, is in, which, is in the, which is the Word of God. Yeah. And my, my friends are here. Well, I see his brother is here. Is Harad. I see him there. And then I see Sean. But Sean, he ran out. I don't see him. Yeah, but see, the deal is with Sean. And Sean is supposed to be a student. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about. But he ain't no student. And I told his dad, he's playing, he's, he's, he's got everybody, not everybody. He's got, he's got people thinking that he's going to school. And if he, he's in school, he'd be sitting in there in here. He can't sit in here, so he can't sit at school. All right. Let's go back over here now. I wanted to stop meddling, and Gabriel said to me, Dad, are you going to compromise now that you come back from the dead? Because people want to get mad at you and leave. And I heard, I thought what he said, I said, I'm not going to compromise. Right. I want to say, hell no, I'm not going to but my wife is here, so I'm not going to say that. Say <laughs> Let's go back to the scriptures. So he said, verse uh, 61 now. Now another one also said, I will follow you. So one how out, I'll follow you. And the Lord told him to let the dead bury the dead. When he told to follow me him, and then he said he he had to go bear his dad. Right, right. right. Now let's see what this, this one is. He says, uh, verse sixty. 
But he said to, uh, wait. Oh yeah, well, that's right, thanks. 61. And another also said, I will follow you, Lord, but first permit me to say bye to those at home. Now, you got to think, that seems like that's, the Lord should say, okay. <laughs> Come on now. That should be, you, you know, they, I, I, I want to follow you, Lord, but everybody at home don't know where I went. Right. They're going to be looking for me. They're not going to know where I went. Right. So I'm going to just go tell them. And when you when you have that, yep. you will never come back to the Lord. Right. Because when you go to your family, your family is going to talk you out of it. Right. And the first, and listen, and the first attack, you better listen. Right. The first attack, right. when you say that you're going to follow Christ, right. Is the attack from your family. Because they don't understand. Let me show you a scripture. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. I hadn't planned on it. But let's go over here to Romans chapter 8. It's going to... It's gonna, Break down here in Romans chapter 8 the difference between the law and the spirit or the flesh and the spirit. All right. All right. Let's see where I want to start. Um, verse 2. Romans 8, 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Verse 3, I appreciate those amen. But what the law could not do, weak as it was through the flesh, God did sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And as an offering for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. In order, verse 4, in order that the requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the Spirit. Now notice Spirit, capital F. Notice that. Spirit, capital S. Verse 5. For those who are according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. Right. I want you to get that now. Yes. This is Paul the Apostle writing as the Spirit has given him utterance. Yes. So he said, for those who are according to the flesh, yes. set their minds on the things of the flesh. Right. The mind is, or the soul is the mind, the will, and the emotions. That's what's in the soul. Okay? But if you are in the flesh, your mind are on the things of the flesh. Right. But those who are according to the Spirit, capital S, are the things of the Spirit. Right. Verse right. 6, for the mind set on the flesh is death. Right. So it shows you what's going to happen at the end. Right. This is what happens if you are walking after the flesh. Right. The end result will be death. Yes. Right. And the death that it's talking about is not the death of the of your flesh. It's the death of being separated from God for eternity. Right. That's the thing that people don't understand. Right. You're going to live for eternity. For, for eternity. Right. Whether you live in the spirit or you live in the flesh. Right. You live for eternity when you die. Right. The deal is, is where you're going to live. Right. That's why the message, the message of the Christian, which is boost on the ground and telling people about Jesus. Because before you leave the earth, you must have your, your ticket punched. Like when you go to work and you punch your time card. You got to have your time card punched when you leave the earth, which is that you have to have the Jesus ticket. Right. Right. Amen. And if you don't have that, you have hell bound. Right. Right. I didn't say it. Right. right. He said it. Yes. Right. 
In John uh, 6, verse 14, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. No man comes to the Father but through me. Yes. Right? Okay, let's go back over here. Verse uh, 6. For the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. Okay, let me give, let me give you one. Let me give you an example of this life and peace. When you are, uh, are not uh, one with God or in harmony with God, right. at night, in other words, when you're in the darkness and you're doing this and doing that, yes. right. at night, when you go to lay down, right. you, you are a bit nervous. Oh, right. <laughs> Some people can't sleep at night. Right. Right. Some people need medicine and they need alcohol. And they need drugs. Because right, right. they can't. Michael Jackson, as great as he was as a dancer right. and as an entertainer, he's dead because he couldn't sleep. Right. 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 That's right. Amen. And when you can't sleep, you go crazy. Right. And he wanted to sleep so bad that he would just do anything. And the drugs that he took, he had to take more and more. Right. Come on, yeah. you say it. Right. To be able to go to sleep. Now he's dead and we don't get no more moonwalk. <laughs> and he ain't walking on the moon now. <laughs> now he could have accepted Christ, but I never heard it. Right. He was a Jehovah Witness. And from and then after that he became a Muslim and he was living over in, in uh, Dubai. Yep. When they, when they tried to put him in, in jail, and that's a questionable situation there. Right. Right. And I don't know how I got on all that. I mean, there's something wrong with Michael Jackson if he's going to court and he's wearing his pajamas. Right. <laughs> Out of all the clothes and stuff that that guy had, and he was wearing his pajamas, Jeff. Yeah. 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 It was. <laughs> My wife is coming with it now. See, he was demonized. That's right. Yeah, of course, we know that. <laughs> but my point was is that he didn't have peace. Right, right. right. That's it. That's it. And when you have Jesus, you can lay down and have peace at night. Yes. 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 And you can wake up in the morning and know I got life coming yes. for me to, in this day. Uh, and miracles for me today. Yes. Miracles for me today. And miracles for me tomorrow. Yes. And miracles for my family. Yes. And my family's family. Yes. Family. Yes. Because yes. I serve God. Yes. Amen. That's why Big Jeff is there right now. Yes. Because Daddy served God. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and he prayed for him. Not yes. listen, he doesn't need one more yet, a little bit more. Verse 7, he said, Because the mind set on the flesh is hostile yeah. right. toward God. Yeah. The mind set, listen, you should know this with the family. Right. Yeah. Right. That's true, Bishop. Don't be coming over with this Jesus stuff. Right. 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 That's what they're telling you. Right. You coming? You 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 coming over? You can come over if you're not gonna be talking about that Jesus stuff. Right. If you're gonna be talking about that Jesus stuff, we don't want to hear no more Jesus stuff. Right. That's your family. Right. Right. We don't hear no more Jesus stuff. Right. I've been alienated from my family. Right. Certain sections of my family. Right. My sisters. Yes. Because they know. Right. That I'm serving God, right. Right. and they know when they because right. they came down and they and, and they had to come to church. Yep. Right. Yeah. So they said we ain't going down to see Uncle Mike no more, <laughs> or my brother, whichever one it is. Right. Wow. Yeah. Because we don't want to hear that. We right. don't. We you know. We don't want to hear that. Right. Well, I'm telling them because I know that you're going to have a bad day one day. Yes. Yes. Same as you're the the mind, verse 7, but the mind set on the flesh is hostile toward God. You find that all the time. 
It says, for it does not submit itself to the law of God. For it is not even able to do so. And the woman will constantly believe that this dog man, which don't love God, don't serve God, not in church, she believes with her whole heart that I can win it. And a year goes by, and five years go by, and ten years go by, and twenty years go by, and thirty years go by, and then he drops you. <coughs> drops you. And gets a younger one. And you believe all the way. I know, I know, he's got a good heart. <laughs> well, you, you must have didn't read that, that scripture right, right there. Right. Wow. Okay, let's, let's, do we need to pull some more out of there? Oh uh, yeah, let me give you eight and then we're gone. It says, and those who are in the flesh cannot please God. For those that are in the flesh cannot please God. Okay, let's go back. Bill, did you find you find the paper? That's real bad. Okay, let's see. Uh, Luke chapter nine. That's just terrible. Anyway, let's see. Uh, yeah. So another one, verse 61, and another one also said, I will follow you. Permit me read that. Permit me to say goodbye to all at home. In verse 62, and but Jesus said to him, No one, after putting his hand to the plow and looking back. Right. Right, Bishop. This is everybody that's working in this ministry. Yeah. Right. That's true. That's true. If you look back, right. then you're not fit for the kingdom. Right. I didn't say it. That's right. And you notice you never hear these things. Right. These teachings of Jesus. You never hear them in the church. Right. That's true. That's right. Jesus said to him, no one after putting his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Amen. You got to remember the story when, when the angel came to deliver Lot and his wife and his, and his family from Sodom and Gomorrah. And God said through the angel, you are not to look back. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because the, the fire was was being released. Yes. Yes. And it was burning up Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Yeah. And God said, you do not look back. Right. Right. Uh -huh. yes. And it said that, that Lot was vexed yep. in his soul yeah. every day yep. for being there. Yeah. Wow. Which we're on the verge of that happening elsewhere. If it's not, it's probably already, it's really already happening. To the Christian that, that, that really loves God and what our country has done. But if you don't understand the spirit, then you, you have no hope. And now I do know pastors that are planning on escaping. And going to other countries to live. I ain't going to no, I'm going to go to other countries, but I ain't going to another country to live. Amen. And I'm not of those, that persuasion, you got to get this. That I would, you would never be able to make enough money to buy a house in California, so you go to some other state, right? Right. Because you have more faith that you can get it over there. Right. The only thing about it is going back to 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 uh, to uh, Tuvalu, <laughs> Mississippi, right. Alabama, right. Louisiana, Texas, all these places. You don't realize. That they're not up with us. Right. Right. 
They got some good old boy stuff. They got it here, but there's a whole lot more over there. Well, you think it's going to be so easy. And God is the same God here as there yes. and anywhere else. Right. Right. So the problem is, there's no God in your mind. Right. Right. Right, Bishop. Amen. Right. I said, and I and I this is what I believe, and I proved it, and I'm proving it again, right. that if you will give your life to God and serve Him yes. and pay your tithe. Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And pay your tithe and you give offerings. Right. Then there will be more, more than enough. Amen. We're going to get whatever that you need. We got all these people in here that got brand new cars. And some people have bought houses, all women right now, that have listened, that's been under me, that's bought houses. Right. And that's just somebody that snuck in and bought one I don't know about. I'm talking about a man. Right. But I believe that God will deliver you here. Amen. And I believe that he will show you here yes. in the city of Oceanside because it is the promised land. Because right. he told me that. Yes. And told me what, and I told you what God said what he would do. Okay, yes. now let's see. I told you what, uh, first, uh, <coughs> first Timothy 4, remember? Right? Yes. But while you're there, before, before you get there, we need to stop off at John real quick. Because John is right there. John 15. Because there's so much uh, uh, error in people's thinking right. when it comes to Jesus and his church. Right. And think that you can be have a relationship with God and don't, and don't go to church. Right. Right. That's a tremendous deception. Right. No, you know what is, I, what did I say, John 15? Yeah, yeah I, I went to John 10, but it's John 15. And it's, that's, that's the only thing that Jesus is doing. Right. He said, I will build my church in Matthew 16, 18. He said, I will build my church Amen. and the Amen. gates of hell will not prevail against it. Yes. So how can you think that you're, you're uh, walking with God right. with boots on the ground and you're not a part of the church? Right. You're completely deceived. Right. Right. If you're walking with God, the first thing, listen, the, when you... When, when, the, when you want to get right with God, in other words, something happens. Mm -hmm. There's some catastrophe. There's a problem. Right. And that's the most of the time when, when, when natural man thinks about God. Right. When there's yeah. a problem yeah. right. that he can't solve. Right. Then he either goes to the parents and he already burned that bridge. Right. And so he's, what can I do? So I got to go to God. Right. And, you, and when you go to him, he shocks you because you think he's going to whip you, but he don't. He always has good for you. Yes. 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 You know, when you, when you start reading scripture, you start seeing that. Yes. That God has good for you. He loves you. Yes. Yes. He loves all of us. Yes. But anyway, what I was going to say, so once you, once you say, you know, like, I, 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 here I am, Lord, and I, I need help, and you're really serious, the first thing you, if you hear, if you can hear, the first thing he'll tell you, go to church. Right. Even if he meets you out in the world, like when he met uh, the uh, the lepers, ten lepers, mm -hmm. he said, "Go show yourself to the priests." Right. Right. The ten lepers. Right. Right. Go offer the offering that you were taught to give to Moses. Yeah. Go give it to the priests. Right. He sent them to church. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. And only one came back. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And he was a, a, a Samaritan. Right. Mm -hmm. Only one came back to thank Jesus. And wow. that one, the, 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 listen, those nine, they lost their healing. That's right. wow. There's only one that kept it. Now look at this. You see, John 15, verse 1. He says, John 15, verse 1. He says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Amen. So he's talking about him, and he's talking about his father. Right. Then verse 2, he says, every branch in me, now the branch is you and me. Right. We're the branch. Right. 
every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he taketh away. Right. Who's he? The Father. Right. You see that? Yes. The branch is connected to Jesus. Jesus is building his church. Yeah. If you're not in the church, you are a branch. Right. If you know him, but you're a dry branch. Right. And need of water. Are you listening? Yes. yes. Let's read on if you don't believe me. Yeah. <laughs> it said, Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it. Yeah. Yeah. That it may burn, that it may bear more fruit. Yeah. Prune it, prune means he corrects you. Right. Right. Yes, right. He corrects you, he directs you. Right. He redirects you. Right. 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 So that you can bear more fruit. Yes. If you haven't brought anybody, won anybody to the Lord and brought anybody to the church, what kind of branch are you? Right. Dry. Dry. No, not right. Dry. Dry. Oh, that's what you were saying? Dry. Yeah. Right. I thought you were going right. No, it's no. dry. dry. Right. 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 So we got so think about how many people we got in the church and you don't bring nobody. Right. Amen. You a dry branch. Right. Notice we can't we yes. you're thinking about it now. <laughs> but listen, the thing about you bring one, you bring two, you that's not the way it goes. I gotta go get somebody and bring them to church. That's not the way it goes. That's religion. Right. I'm not teaching that. I'm not trying to get you to do that. The person that the Lord wants you to bring, you talk to him every day. Right. You're just afraid to tell him. Right. Right. That's true. The Lord brings the person yes. to you that he wants that he wants to talk to yes. through you. Yes. Now how simple can that be? Amen. That takes away the religion and the fear right. that you have to go to up to some big monster like me walking down the street and, and, and you are a little a little uh, bird and you want to you, you want to do what your pastor told you and so you I'm walking down the street and so you want to hit me up and tell me about Jesus. Right. No. Right. That's gonna get you to Bible. Yes. It's the person that the Lord brings to you. Yes. He brings, they call out to you. Yes. So it's not that you, you know, it's not like you have to figure it out. You guys don't even want to hear, you're tired now. I can see it. The church, you're starting to go to sleep. But if it was a movie, right. yes. the kind of movie that you like, right. you wouldn't be. Right. <laughs> You'd be pumped up right now. Oh, he's getting ready to do it, or just he's going to jump in the pool, whatever. <laughs> We've been building up for this. This is it. Oh, this is it. <laughs> You've been already two two hours in. <laughs> the uh, those war pictures. Yes. And of course, the women are not into that. And I don't know. I can ask Diana what some of the movies that that she watches on the. On the uh, what's your what's your the Hallmark Hall Walmart Hallmark Hallmark those are like the old uh, Leave to Beaver movies. Some of you don't know nothing about that. Bonanza, Leave it to Beaver, My Father Knows Best. These are way back, but those are kind of I don't want to see those. Right. Now, if I see one, I am touched by it, but I'm not like, yeah, that's where I want to be, no. Right. Uh, uh, what's his name? Gibson. Uh, Mel Gibson. What was, what is, what was his war picture? Braveheart's one. When We Were Soldiers. One of my favorites. I can put that on every day. <laughs> And I'll be sleeping with him. I don't know. <laughs> but I love, anyway, anyway. Let's, let's go back. 
I'm not going to sleep. I was in South Africa with the prophet because A.D. came out over there before it came over here. Yes. And I'm talking about the first A.D. Yeah. And he said, um, it was six, six of them. And he said, um, you want to watch it? And I said, yeah. And I said, how many tapes did he said, oh, it was six of them. I said, well, you're going to go to sleep. He said, no, you go to sleep. I said, no, you will go to sleep before I go to sleep. <laughs> So it was on. <laughs> and we watched, it was like the fifth one, and the sun was coming up. No, I wasn't struggling. Because A.D. is one of the most exciting Christian movies that I've ever seen. Because it's live. I mean, it's not, it's real. It's straight out of the Bible. But I did catch him. <laughs> on the sixth one, on the sixth tape. So he said we had a, it was a draw because he said he caught me. <laughs> it's been a rough week with him being in a in a, a coma. My best friend in the ministry, and I can't even put words on all the things that he has done and. All the things, how he's helped and been a friend, right. and then we have we have uh, people that are just just in the flesh. Right. We have people that have died in the church, right. and we have people fighting for their life right now. Right. And we have people that are more concerned about some some stupid right. about their flesh. Right. I mean, somebody's dying. They're right. dying. Yes. They're dying right. in here. Right. And they're not supposed to die. Right. The power of God is supposed to, will resurrect you. Yeah. 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 I, I, I carry it. Right. Right. But when you have all that demon stuff, right. then that short circuits the power. Yeah. Because if God comes, you guys paying attention? Oh, yeah. yeah. If God comes, He's going to kill us all. Right. 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 Because we can't stand it. If he manifests his glory, right. flesh is going to die. Yes. And so in Reddit, instead of him manifesting his glory, he, he doesn't come. Right. I'm talking about to the degree where we need it. Right. Right. Where you have, you know, these cancers and these different diseases, um, you know, that, that it's killing us. The church... We, we had to be the church. Yeah. That's not pretty, that's not a very good uh, right, amen. Right. You're talking about people's lives, but see, if it was your life, Come on. Yeah. then you'd be, you get, listen, if it's your life, yeah. or somebody in your family, somebody yeah. that you know, then right. you would be more yeah. sensitive. Right. But we're supposed to be sensitive because they're the church. Yeah. they in the church. Yeah. Yeah. One lady died because her family. Right. Right. She would. She would have never die. That's right. But her family didn't want God. Didn't want us. Right. When she died, we never seen them again. Right. 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 What? What is that? Right. I mean, it, it shouldn't be that way. Right. I mean, if you if you see somebody that is struggling, like in the market or something, if I see him and you know, if I can do something to help him, I want to help him. Right. Yeah. They don't even have to be in the church. Right. I want to help him. Right. I see people in dialysis, just you know, terrible, terrible. What happens to us, to our bodies, with the enemy, yeah. with diseases. I want to help people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to spend time fighting right. Right. in the church. Right. Yes. Amen. Over stupid stuff. Right. Where we got people that are dying. Yeah. Right.
I know when I was dying, the church was 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 praying every yes. day. Yes. When I was dying, the church came every day. Yes. I said, "Let me die." Church, no. I said, I mean, if somebody came to me and told me that I have a friend and that he he has. Only 10% of his heart working. Right. He has kidney failure. He has 100 pounds of fluid on him. He's died. They jumper cabled him three times. No, no, no. Twice. twice. Then Jesus did jumper cable me. Right. Brought me back. Yeah. The third time. Yeah. But if they said to me, and we're fighting for his life, I said, look, that guy knows Jesus. Oh, woman, if she knows Jesus, let her go. I'm this man stands before you. I'm I'm the man. Right. Right. Amen. 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 There's no way that I should be able to do any of the stuff that I'm doing. Right, right. right. right Bishop. But I'm doing it. Right. right. Amen. 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 I'm doing it. I'm doing it by the grace of God. That's it. That's it. So there must be there must be something. There must be something. Yes. Something. Yes. Come on. That God is trying to say through me. Yes. yes. There must be, there's got to be something yes. that He wants us to, to give. Yes. Right. Not to let me die. Right. 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 And to send me back. Amen. Amen. It just breaks my heart when I see the stuff going on in the church when we fighting for people's life. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We have to we we gotta take our diapers off. Right. We we need to pray pray for people and be serious. Yes. Right. Yeah. Amen. We've got a lot of people that have lived that should be dead. But then I'm talking about the, the what do they call them, the chronic or I don't know, the people that are very severe. Terminal. 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 People that are terminal, the only way that the, 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 that, that termination, that being, that it was going to be reversed, it's got to be supernatural. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Power. Yes. yes. From the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And what I'm trying to get the church to understand is, listen, when we come together, yes, yes. How do you think when Jesus said that you will do greater works than mine? Right. You ever looked at his works? Right. And you think, what did Jesus, what are you talking about? How are we going to do greater works than what you did? Right. But he said, we would do greater works. Right. What, are, what are those greater works? Can we tell you what they are? It's when the church is one. Yeah. Yeah. Then those cancers yeah. and diseases yeah. will just drop right. yeah. Yeah. and run out and leave. Yeah. That's why the enemy fights us so hard. I come up for the church to be one. It's not difficult for the church to be one. It's for the church to be one means that you have to surrender what you feel. Right. And what you think, listen, if you won't pray, you will never be part of the thing that Jesus is doing. That's right. That's right. That's right. You can sit here, you can, if you won't pray, right. and I'm talking about daily, yeah. right. not just on Sunday, right. not just on Thursday, right. you have to learn how to pray. Right. Yes. Amen. That's the only way that we can become one. Amen. Amen. Is we pray. Yep. Then it don't matter about the color. It don't matter what you said. I forgive you. Right. I'm not gonna hold on to, you know, Come on, Bishop, what was it. said or it, when I'm talking about when you pray. When right. you pray, that flesh just melts. Yes. Right. It's, it's not important no more. Right. Right. And we, we, you know, we're fighting for people's lives right now. Yes. Yes. There's one watching right now on Ustream that need wants to live. Yes. Yes. And the only way that she can live is for us yes. 
right. all of us, not yeah. one or two of us. Right. All of us. Right. Right. Everybody, right. Are weeping and crying for her right. and say, Lord, oh, yeah. don't let her die. Right. Yes. We right. don't want her to die. That's, yes. right. That's the only way. I don't know. Um, you know, you can't you can't strong arm it. Right. You can't make it better armor. I mean, the the the, uh, the yeah, the strength of the flesh. You can't. No. It's got to be the this be. I mean, like what Charlotte is doing. Charlotte, and Nolan, and others that that you know go over and help. Them. And then we had we have done the same thing to, for for. Many years, actually. Yeah. Not just these these particular people here. Yeah. Right. We've had other people that had cancers and mm -hmm. other diseases, and, and we we pushed them back. Yes. Right. And I lived yeah. a lot longer. Hallelujah. Yes. And diabetes yeah. is another real nasty. Right. Chopped up Chrissy's uh, mother yeah. right in our face. Yeah. And chopped uh, <coughs> dad up too. Had them both in wheelchairs. Mama Joe had cancer. She was on her. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. They told her she had cancer. She said, "I do not." Yes. <laughs> she, she forced it back. <laughs> and I'm not trying to. I'm you know I'm not trying to put a trip on you guys. Right. I'm just saying for us to to be who who Jesus. Jesus wants us to be him. Yes. Not for me to be me and you to be you. Right. All that, that's not what Jesus is looking for. Right. Jesus is looking for us to let him be in living you. Yes. Yes. And the more that we surrender, yes. I, you can't make it without prayer cookie. Cookie said prayer. She she has just fought for the prayer, yes. yeah. um, and that's just that's it. That's it. Without the prayer, yeah. and it's it, it's intercessory prayer. Yeah. It's not just you know a, a particular. It's intercessory prayer, yes. where most churches won't even allow it. Right, right. Because they say we don't have time for that. Right. But I I don't I don't want to have church without it. Right. Amen. I, I want I want the intercessory prayer, and I and we know we have time for it, but that's why we come early to pray. Amen. 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 So let me see. Is there anything else I need to clean up here on scriptures? Um, Do we go to Timothy? No. Oh, we in John. Yeah. I can't. I can't finish. Right. Did we finish? We didn't finish. And we finished too. Right. Right. Yeah, we can just stop there. I probably shouldn't have uh, pressed what I just did, but I, I've, I've been wanting to. That's good. I've been wanting to say these things. And for, for the church to come up. Right? Yes. Right. Maybe the person did do wrong. Maybe I did wrong. Maybe I said something I shouldn't have said. Come on. But what's my heart? Come on. Right. Right. Come on. What is my heart? Right. If you don't know my heart, all of, you know, then you need to know about the person's heart. You need to know my heart. What am I really after? I just want to bless you, want to help you. Want to see you prosper. Yeah. Want to see you live and yeah. miss a lot of uh, things that that I didn't miss. And the Lord has given us eyes to see. Yeah. To see these things coming down the pipe on on the young you young people, and we want to help you from from, from that happening to you. Yeah. Not help you after you get in it. Right. <laughs> we still will. Right. Right. You can all stand, but that's that's. I just look at my grandson, my, the different kids that are bouncing around. A lot of churches don't like that, but I like it because that's real life. Yes. Yes. 
separating the, the family during church, is that what God wants? Right. Think about it. How religious that is. Right. That's the enemy. Right. We, we, never, we never sit down with our family. Right. Don't have time. Right. And, and look at the families. Right. You have to take the time right. to sit down with your family. Yes. Find out what's going on with your kids. Right. Speaking to their life and not, and not just correct them but prophesy to them. Right. Tell them what, what good things God's going to do for That's them. Right. Yes. I think until we get those things down, um, the Lord is not going to deliver us to build it. I, I maybe could have forced a building already. But I'm not looking to get a, a $13,000 uh, payment a month. I'm not looking to believe God for $13,000 to give to a building. I'm not. Amen. I did that before, and uh, I'm not going to build a church that way this time. Yes. I lift up the mighty name of Jesus. And these, these truths, Lord, that we have brought forth tonight, and even heart matters, your heart, that the people that, have, that are sensitive to you will, will leave here and be thinking about these things that were said tonight. And also about those people that we need to talk to about Jesus and intercede for. Yes. Yeah. Weep and, and, and pray with tears yes. that they don't that they don't go to hell. Yes. What a, and with the Christian with a hard heart would have let them go to hell. That's not that, that's not that, that's not God's heart. Lord, we 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 pray an apostolic prophetic prayer over the people of the Genesis, the King's Church. And those that watch us, we release your miracles, yes. healings, provision. Yes. Some that need just hope, don't have faith, yes. but hope yes. that faith will come. Yes. And that these things that have happened can happen to you. Yes. And we pray your blessing upon them, Lord. Yes. And, the, and the, the, the revival that has already begun. Yes. That you will make it become a reality yes. and real. In the mighty name of Jesus and the yes. church said. Amen. 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 All right. We have the men's meeting Saturday. Ed is... A, Senior Grubbies. Then our next week will be at uh, our uh, Airwood. Yes. Any other announcements? All right. What well, if anybody needs prayer? While we while we still here, you want prayer? Why don't you come down the altar? Let me pray because there's a heaviness. But sometimes it needs to be. This is this not no. This is this is a heavy matter that I just got to talking about. Any, anybody that needs prayer. If you don't need prayer, you can talk. Go talk outside. It's fine. Shh. If people need prayer, come on up here to the altar. We'll pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Get yourself ready. Don't look around. Get yourself ready. With God's blessing. Know what you want. Get yourself ready in the position of receiving. You, you, you know what you want. You make your position known before God. Close your eyes. If it's healing that you need, I release it to you. I release peace. And 
kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy, and the Holy Spirit to take away condemnation. Right. Come. Just a good move over here. Take away condemnation from everybody here. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we release peace. Yes. yes. And joy. Help yes. in time of need. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. See, that was it was a heaviness because all the people needed prayer. Yes. I thought it was what I was talking about, but it's the heaviness. And the Bible says, casting all your cares upon Him. First Peter five seven. Amen. Casting all your cares upon him. A cast is when you just, like a, a fishing rod, you just throw them. It's just, you, you throw them off of you. Leave them at the altar. Their right knee, right knee. See that? It's right here. He's tapping me. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. What a miracle. What a miracle. Miracles, 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 miracles. Tyrell, I found out today Tyrell has already passed his test. Glory to God. Release your, your, your presence, Lord. Meet every need. Every need. Come in now. Every need. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Excuse me, sir. Hey, but why are you not up here helping me? I'll oh, pray just as you say. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. First should be last, and the last should be first. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Top of your head to the bottom of your head. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You want to pull your hands? There you go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. Yes. You fighting, you fighting, you fighting. Yes. I see you fighting. I don't know you, but I see you fighting. Warn I release strength for you to be able to strengthen you in your innermost being. Yes. And peace to your soul. From the top of your head to the bottom of your head. Give him peace, Lord. Yes. Give him rest. And make a way where there, there is no way. Make a way. For Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I bless you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. It's a lot better. Yeah. Man, yeah. A lot better than this. I can't feel this heaven as I thought it was me, what I was saying, but it wasn't. It was the burdens. All right. We took care of them. Okay. So we have, uh, we got to take care of everything we need to take care of. All right. Well, my... Dear friend is in the back of the church. His name is Cain. You guys say hi to him on his way out. I mean on your way out. God bless you. Just me. Yeah.